Here's how I found my passion, my dream, my purpose, whatever you want to call it. Here's how I found mine at the young spry age of 19. It only takes three simple steps for you to find yours. This is advice I find myself giving to people younger than me and older than me. I don't claim to know everything because I don't, but I am lucky enough to have something that most people never get in their lifetimes, a reason to wake up in the morning. So step one, think of a traumatic event you experienced as a child. Trauma is a word I hate to throw around lightly, but you gotta find something that really, really hurt you as a kid, or at least made you insecure. For me, it was my weight. I was always the big kid growing up and I got made fun of for it all the time. My experience of growing up around my peers and always ending up being the butt of the joke shaped the person that I am and shaped the confidence issues that I had as a teenager. That's the level of pain we're looking for here. Step two, visualize a person that could save you from those problems your hero, your own superhero. This person can exist in real life or not. Unfortunately, when it came to weight loss, I was kind of on my own, so I had to make one up. So I made them up. I asked myself, what would this person look like? What would this person do for a living? How would this person talk? Why would this person want to help me? Why would they be my hero? And I know some people actually did have real life heroes that helped them out of childhood trauma. If that's the case for you, you're already one step ahead of everybody else. Going into step three, become that superhero. Have you ever heard of the saying that goes something a little like, you become the person you needed most as a child? That is exactly what we're doing here. When most people talk about wanting to find their dream or their purpose or their passion, most of the time they're talking about their careers. So take a look at the past traumas that you've had that shaped you as a person and dive deep. What could be a career that I could help people that struggle with those same issues? For example, if you had a lot of anxiety growing up, maybe you'd enjoy being a yoga teacher or even a doctor to help people with their mental health. The same problem that you had when you were younger. This is the exact same thing that I'm doing today. I'm the fat kid that grew up, lost the weight, and now helps other people lose weight for a living. It's the greatest feeling in the world. This process does take time and requires a lot of trial and error, but that doesn't mean stop trying. Don't be afraid of new things. The only way to guarantee that you stay lost is to stop looking for a way out.